Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a SSD on a standard desktop computer. Actually, I got quite a few emails from our users and they wanted me to show how to install a SSD on a computer and I'm going to show you the same. So we'll be installing the Kingston Hyper SSD instead of the standard SSD. The first thing you'll notice is that this SSD is way smaller than our traditional hard drive and you, if you place it over a traditional hard drive you can see that uh, it's a lot smaller. This SSD is 2.5 inches in size and our traditional hard drive that we get in our desktop is 3.5 inch. So to install it what we need is we need some kind of a bracket and fortunately with this Kingston HyperX we get this 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch bracket with all the screws. So what we need to do is we need to mount our SSD in this bracket and you can see that and now the width will be exactly to the traditional hard drive. So we just mount these screws and we have four mounting screws again on this 2.5 to 3.5 inch bay and we're going to mount our SSD now. Use a screwdriver, fortunately Kingston HyperX SSD, uh, we get this handy screwdriver in which all the screws are there and we take four screws and we are going to mount it now. Now I have mounted all the screws and after mounting it, these four screws, the drive looks like this. Now we are going to mount this in a hard drive bay. In a I have removed my uh, side cabinet of the computer and this is my drive bay. It will differ from cabinet to cabinet and what I am going to do is replace this hard drive with our SSD. And uh, again, the, this procedure will basically differ a bit based on your cabinet. I'm using an Antec cabinet and we can take out this hard drive cage. What I'm going to do is unplug the hard drive and I'm going to remove this cage. Now what I've done is I've mounted the SSD on this tray uh, and I'm going to insert this in the hard drive cage. This will differ a bit based on your computer. Some, And now what we need to do is we just insert this back in our computer and connect the power and the SATA cable. I have a hard drive cage with the SSD now. Before inserting it back into the cabinet, what I'm going to do is we're going to connect the connectors. So these are the two connectors we need to connect. This is the for the SATA cable and this is for the power. And this is our SATA cable. And to connect it, it's really simple. You just align it. This is the power SATA power cable, and we're going to attach this to this end. This is how it looks after connecting the cables. I have connected the SATA and the power cable for the hard drive and even for the SSD. Now I am restarting my system and now we are going to get inside the BIOS of our system. Now I am assuming that we have two hard drives in our system and we need to set the priority of the boot device so that uh, the computer knows that it should boot from your primary hard drive or the just install SSD. So the BIOS will differ from motherboard to motherboard but we basically need to go to the BIOS setting where it allows us to set the boot priority. Set the boot priority to boot our system with the SSD. At this point I am assuming that you have already cloned your data to the SSD. If you haven't done the same, uh, look at this video to do the same. And now what we do is I set the boot priority to our Kingston HyperX SSD. That's the 120 GB SSD. Now we just save these settings and we just exit the BIOS. And now your system should boot with the new SSD drive. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you click the like button given below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.